Ready to go? Hello there, my name is Paige and I'm here with a brand contributor video on the Yoga Kick Classroom version 3.0. If you are a higher teacher and you have not yet seen the full length training video where Uni and I take you through all of the new classroom features, I highly recommend you watch that. In this video, I'm going to go through the top features of the new classroom and a little bit of tips about how to use them. First, in the new classroom, da -da 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 -da, we have a new built-in reward. We have gems. So you're a gem. <laughs> you will award these instead of the stars. So in the old classroom, we award the stars with the built-in reward. In the new classroom, we are awarding gems. In the new classroom, you can award up to five gems, just like how we did with the stars. If you like the gems that I have here, I do have a link to these down in the description box below. Um, you also are still required to use a secondary reward system. I like to use felt food, sometimes digital rewards, just depends on my student um, and what kind of food that I'm in when I'm teaching. Just remember, five gems and a secondary reward. Yes. Next is camera. If you have an external camera, you're going to want to move it to the other side because the videos have switched from the right side to the left side. You can move it so you're camera is over top of the student's video feed and you can better make eye contact. If you have an internal, look at the internal just the same as you have been. Also note that it is possible to have your camera and audio on before the start of class time in this version of the classroom. To have that be off, just hover over your video feed, click the button to turn off and on the video, and that is it. And your camera and video will be off until you hit that start class button and then it will open at the precise start class time. That leads me to the next feature, you, the timer and start class button. You want to be sure to still hit the start class button at the precise class start time. You want to make sure because it takes your attendance and it starts the timer for how long you've been in class. Each class should be 25 minutes. You want to make sure that your pacing and having your timing be precise. Now, with the timing, you could stay up to 28 minutes in case of student IT, student is late, things of that nature. After the end of class time, just know that the system will automatically archive each classroom after 60 minutes from the start class time. If after your last class of the day you want to hang out and practice some of the tools and your student's gone, you can, but just know that classroom will be archived after 60 minutes from that start class time. So if you happen to be in there, just know it will boot you out. After you hit the finish class button, you will no longer be able to enter the classroom. The evaluation form will pop up as normal and you will do your feedback within 12 hours. Yes. Next, the tools. You still have the pointer tool to click the interactive features, the pen tool to draw all over the screen. You also are able to type on the screen and it takes less clicks to get to the text tool. You just click the text tool, click where you want it, type, click out of it, and it will appear on the screen. You can also change the color of the text and the pen tool by using the color selection options. We have a few colors um, in the test classroom that I showed you. You can see those colors that are available. You also have the eraser and the clear all button, just the same. As of right now, there is no separate whiteboard. This feature is under development and will be released in June or July of 2019. The team is working very hard on this. Also, the ability to change the trial classes is being developed for the new classroom as well. The team is working on this feature as well. Both the whiteboard feature and the ability to change trial classes will be released in June or July of 2019. The team is working very hard on both of these features. The last important thing to note is your patience is greatly appreciated. With the new platform, it is possible there might be some bumps along the road. The team is working very hard to deliver the best teaching and learning experience. Please share your feedback with the team. Share about how your classes in the new classroom went. I would love to hear. Um, I'm excited for the new classroom and I hope that you are too. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you are a new teacher, I can catch you in a training workshop. I do um, five topics right now. If you are not yet hired and you would like some help on the hiring process, feel free to let me know about that as well. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Google Kick Classroom version 3.0. Thank you so much for watching and happy teaching. Bye! 3.0! Woohoo!